Hi class, uh, today I will be talking about the week four discussion post. So let's pull up that prompt right now. Um, you'll notice that you need to write about one to three paragraphs comparing how the authors develop their characters. So I thought what I could do today is talk about how authors develop characters this concept is otherwise known as characterization. Uh, today, I actually have a PowerPoint to kind of go along with this uh, post, so we can follow along, um, you can follow along at home <laughs> with the PowerPoint as I'm talking about it. And so I'm gonna look at the second slide of the PowerPoint where we're defining the term characterization. Um, I think either definition works. Uh, the second one though I want to focus on, uh, or actually the first one, um, where it talks about the author developing the character through action, dialogue, thought, or commentary by a narrator. So depending upon the story you pick, um, the author is going to develop their characters in different ways. However, these are kind of the universal ways in which characters are developed, right? And so when I think of characterization, just kind of on a, a very basic level, the idea is that we are trying to show how we understand and know the character. And in order to do that, we can look at things like dialogue or how they act um, and the thoughts that they have. Um, and then if there's a narrator, things that the narrator tells us about them. Um, now, in terms of how this characterization is expressed, we can look at the next slide. So basically, there's indirect and direct versions of characterization. So direct characterization would be something like what we were just talking, I was just talking about in terms of the narrator, where they are directly commenting on the person's personality, um, this is called telling in a way, and so I, one of the things you'll see is show, not tell. Um, you don't want to tell normally because it's less desirable um, as a reader, and I have a theory about that, but I'll, I'll, let me explain both before I say why. Um, indirect is when is the preferred method, the, sh the, the showing something. And basically the difference is in showing in terms of characterization or indirect characterization, you are showing us an action or dialogue that reveals something to us about the character's personality. So for example, let's say we have someone waiting in line for coffee, right? and we say he is impatient. That would be an example of direct characterization because I'm directly characterizing um, the person's personality or state of mind. Uh, indirect characterization, I might say the he waited for coffee, in, um, I don't want to say impatiently because that's telling again. He waited for coffee, um, he was constantly on his phone, he was tapping his foot, you know, checking the time, um, making noises or something like this so that I would use descriptions to s help describe to the reader indirectly how the character was behaving you know and same thing would be if you wanted to tell if they were a cruel person right you know if you just said he was a cruel person that's a lot different than describing a cruel act that they might do right so why is it that direct is less like not as preferable to indirect? Well, again, I think it goes back to, like I said, this theory I have. Since we experience the world indirectly for the most part, meaning when someone's mad, like when you go and get that coffee and you see the barista is bored or they're annoyed or whatever emotion they're feeling, they're not gonna come out and directly tell you for the most part, right? Especially if they're a stranger. So you have to deduce these things indirectly. And so for the most part, all of our lives are kind of spent that way where we indirectly experience people's personalities. So that's why I think that showing and not telling is preferred. 
Um, also, too, I think it helps engage the reader because if someone just tells you something versus you kind of figuring it out, I think, you know, there's a big difference between that, too. Anyway, um, the last slide, there's some just examples. Uh, and I think by this point, hopefully, you can tell the difference between the two. If you can't, um, just message me uh, either an email or ask the instructor, and I can give you the answer. But I think they're pretty self explanatory. Um, now, at the end of the day, how does this relate to our post, right? So, again, we are trying to compare how the authors develop their characters. Um, so, what you could do, like it says here, you could focus on new love and old love, or on failed love and successful love, or any pairing you like. Um, and so one of the things you could do, like let's pretend you're doing new love and old love, you can look at how the author describes, you know, new love or old love, or how are they developing the character, you know, is it directly or indirectly, what, how do we know what the author's saying maybe about love um, through the character's actions, uh, things like that. Um, and so if you wanted to mention characterization, I think that might be a fair way and maybe uh, an easier way to, to talk about how the authors develop their characters. Um, and so at the end of the day, just remember, show, don't tell. Showing is the indirect, telling is the direct um, all right, well, um, this should be fun. Uh, after, I know last week uh, we have uh, life and death, and that, that's always a little heavy. And so um, now we're in the mood uh, for love. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to. Um, and so I think that, you know, hopefully we'll have a little bit, uh, a bit of lightness uh, to this week. Um, and so once we get to the uh, assignment, uh, uh, you can kind of, I guess, I, I'll see what mood you're in, right? Because we're going to be picking from these last uh, two weeks uh, between the two um, for the assignment. So I'll let that be for another post. And uh, thank you so much for your hard work this week. I hope the PowerPoint helps if in the future you like me doing that, supplementing the discussion with a PowerPoint like that, please let me know, um, and I will make more of them. All right, have a great week. Bye.